Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Roxanne. If you are new here, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Um, and if you're not, uh, you know how much I love you guys. Um, today I'm going to be doing something I've never done before. I am going to be pulling out a lot of my palettes and showing you my stash. Um, I'm going to leave it to my eyeshadow and my blushes and highlighters. Um, and I'm going to try to de-stash some of them uh, as I obviously do not need all of them as I have so much that uh, I will not have enough time to put them all on. Um, I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I will be putting up for sale. Some stuff I might put in a, a giveaway. Um, there's already a thousand subscriber giveaway and I am uploading a BH Cosmetic um, Galaxy palette giveaway as well as I do have in the works a Jeffree Star giveaway. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to show you some of the items that I have here. Um, and uh, let me know guys, like what would you like to see in giveaways? I may put some of this stuff in a giveaway, I may not. Um, but yeah, let me know what you would like to see. Um, anything that I do use, I will not put it in a giveaway, obviously. So if it's used, it, it, it automatically goes into, um, it goes into a, a for, like a, a sale pile. Um, and I do list on a couple of groups. I'll try to list them down below as well as my, my personal page. Um, okay. So let's get started on this. I'm going to show you some of the things I've already listed um, that will definitely be in the give or in in the sale. But if you see something like that I put up, just say like the name of it and say I would love to win that in a giveaway. And maybe I will do that. I will definitely put it in a giveaway, or maybe not definitely. Maybe I can put it in a, in a give it giveaway for the next time and um just so I can get some feedback on what you guys would like to win and yeah so um the first item that I will be putting up is the uh, uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills lashes um I do have some lashes I should be putting them on and maybe next week I will give that a try as I will have more free time next week even though I'm working nights um but these are brand new so they are going in my sale pile. I'm just gonna put it behind me here. So the other thing is, is this Bye Bye Pores blush. Would you guys like to see this in a sale or in a giveaway? I already have it and I absolutely love it. I have the same color. So there's no sense in me keeping two. So um, I'm going to put that in my sale bin for right now, but let me know if you'd like to see something like that in a giveaway. This is the, um, It Cosmetics. They're absolutely great brand. I really do love them. And I, like I said, I already have one. So, um, yeah. Um, what else do I have here? So I've got the Afra long lasting liquid lipstick in the color. I don't even know what color this is. Oh, here it is. Manila. So it's too brown for me. I obviously have way too much lip stick. So I actually tried this Pinky Promise out. It is a great, um, a great palette, just that I have too many. So this is only used one. So yes, this was already in there. So I'm going to throw it in there again, as well as the Venus 3. So if you'd like to buy any of this stuff and you are in Canada, let me know. I will uh, send you the group link um, to, the, I think I'll post it in two groups, fairly cheap, but probably like five bucks each, just to, just to uh, home them because I just don't need them anymore. I also put up the Natasha Denona Mini Love because I do have the large love. I feel like this is just too much um, for me, but uh, yeah, so I have put that up. It's been used a few times, all with clean brushes, um, but it is such a pre pretty, pretty uh, palette. Now, I did buy this at full price, um, so yeah. Um, this is one I hemmed and hawed, and I think I might actually put back into my collection, is the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, this is the Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize. So um, I didn't actually use this shade and I do love the Love Glow, so I think I'm gonna actually put that back into my collection. 
Um, another one I got and I've had in my collection a while is It's All Good. Um, I think I might put that back in. It looks so messy, but it's got some beautiful colors. Maybe I'll create a look with that this week. Um, I did pay, I think, full price for it. So, um, yeah. So another thing that I had that I've already have is the this um, Pretty Vulgar Eye Primer. It is brand new. It's just without a box or the safety seal, but um, I have not used it. And you can actually tell. So, um, since it doesn't come with a box or a safety seal, I am going to put it in the for sale pile. Now, I got these um, in Tribe, and I didn't use them, but I did uh, swatch them. And so maybe I should give these a try. I think I'm going to put them in my to use pile. Um, I do have some... This is the Glossy Box a 3 one Moisturizer, Plump Prime and Protects. Um, I think I'm actually going to set that aside and um, kind of put that in, uh, give that in a, you know, Christmas gift or something. Um, my mother-in-law really likes when I give her skincare, so either I'll use it or maybe she'll use it. So I did get this House of 99 by David Beckham um, men stuff, but my guy doesn't use them. So I'm going to, actually, I'm going to throw them in my thousand member giveaway. They're brand new, never been used. So I got this blush here and I absolutely love it, but I have so many. So I've only used this once. So I'm gonna throw this in the um, the for sale pile, but it is a beautiful blush. Same as this Molly. Um, this is, came from Ipsy and this one came from Tribe. Both of them are gorgeous, but I just have so many. So I won these. And I know somebody that was looking forward to, um, that, uh, likes these, but, uh, oh my gosh, these are heavy and they're more than three centimeters. So they, they cannot go, um, stamped, but, uh, I am definitely throwing these in, um, the for sale pile. I, um, I just, there's dog hair over everything. Um, I do have a, another set of two that I have to. I sold already and that I really like. So those are some of the things that are already had in there. There's, um, so I need to have a drink here. Also, let me know below if you'd like to see me create a look with some of these palettes I've already used before. Um, I feel like I'm like way too close to the camera right now feels weird because my head feels like it's being chopped off so I'm just gonna okay. so okay so I just got this one I haven't used it yet so and it's, it's in the wrong pile so I'm definitely keeping this one so I'm actually going to the next palette that I have <laughs> is the coca-cola i actually have let's see here okay so i do have actually both coca-colas and i love them both and i do want to create another look with them um somebody sent me this one this is the velvet siate london so i am definitely keeping that one I bought this one, the Creamsicle uh, Press Powder Palette. I'm going to actually put that in my sale. I have a lot of um, ColourPop that I am going to to keep, so I'm not really worried about it. Um, this is the one I think I got in my mystery box, and this is the Marc Jacobs. I'm keeping that one. Um, let's see. I'm just going to kind of pull everything out here. There are so many palettes in my box here. So I have these two and I absolutely love them and I really want to pull them out again. These are Lorac Pro, the chocolate box and the bakery box. I have tried to sell these and I could not. So um, these are really expensive. They're really hard to get. I got them in Tribe. I actually bought two Tribe boxes to get them. I actually bought three and I gave away one. Another 
palette that is for sure staying in my collection is the Anne Frank collection. It is gorgeous. They actually have the lip collection out for the Americans, but not the Canadians. Another palette that has earned a spot in my collection is the Nomad. This is beautiful palette. I love it. This is called the Berlin Underground. I like the dark colors. I like the rustic of it. I absolutely adore Nomad. And actually, I'm getting my second palette from them. I am hoping to get the Tokyo palette. I really, really, really love that palette. So I also have the Zendo, which I just won. I have not used this too much, so I want to keep it. And then I also have the Love. Both of these palettes speak to me. Um, I'm keeping them. Like, you can tell that I've used this a few times. I'm not a huge fan of Natasha Denona. And I wasn't. I shouldn't say that. But, I mean, look at those greens. I need to use those greens. They're just gorgeous. So I am keeping those two. Um, what else is in here? So I do have a look that I want to finish with this Smashbox. Oh, yeah, there's an eyeliner in here. And it's this one here. So I have... Uh, I have sample somewhere and I have to find them um, that I would like to use with them in their facial their um, what are they called uh, foundation samples I'm just gonna throw some of this stuff in back in here okay so um, so I won this one, and this is one of the more expensive palettes that I have, and this is the Pat McGrath, and this is the Mothership, oh, I, I used without cautions, shade throwing, and eye ecstasy may result with prolonged use. So this is a Mothership a Divine Rose 2. So these are absolutely beautiful colors. I have not used them all, so th this will be staying in my collection. So this is another Tribe palette. Look at that. Another one that I would love to use again. I need to start doing my makeup every single day so I can use these up. So I just got this one, so I'm going to keep it for now. Um, okay, so now the Jaclyn Hill palette. we used this once. I still have more Jaclyn Hill stuff that... No, actually, I haven't used this one. I thought I did. Why does it look like I did? But I can't see any marks in this pan. Okay, so this needs to go over here. So, um, Cab Cosmetics. Don't need that. I'm not even going to show you because everybody's got it. So this one is really cute. So this is Bling Boss. I absolutely love it. This is from Jacqueline Hill. So yes, that's day. Um, this is Odin's Eyes. There's some colors in here that I definitely need to play with. Um, I did try the green. Um, so this is definitely staying in. I need this to put this deep C on my... Um, my eyes and like look this is beautiful so yes I also have a third one that I haven't used so I'm going to be using that one okay. so then I have my BH cosmetics palette um, so I have the 80s 90s and the 2000s these are staying in my collection as much as I don't even know if I'll ever use them again, I really like them, so I want to use them again. Okay, so then I have this Vise Art um, Mask. I'm going to keep this right now. I would like to put it up, but I just can't right now. And then I have the Super Shadow Ultra Metallic from the um, Wine. The Wine Collection. I have the rest of it right here. There it is right there. Wine only. So I'm going to definitely keep um, these two. I actually have. And then I, I have to keep this one. This one is too cute. I love it. 
and that is Natasha Denona. Okay, so these ones I'm definitely um, keeping for right now because they're some of my favorite, favorite, favorite eyeshadows that I have found. I'm just going to pull them all out so I can put them all back in. Um, so I do want to sh What is falling? Did I just drop eyeshadows? Oh, I love that when you drop something and your floor is like empty. And it must have rolled away. Okay. So I guess we'll have to look. Okay, so I do have actually both pure Barbie palettes. Um, I actually, if you look behind me here, I have some of the brushes. I do have the pink brushes. Um, like there's colors in like this one I haven't used yet. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely keeping these ones. This one, I, I, if you about, and I just hit myself in the face. Um, but then there's the Barbie Malibu uh, palette that I have and definitely be keeping those so those three are definitely saying in my collection um, Ipsy versus or Ipsy made this too and I haven't uh, I haven't even used this one here this I have the brushes, I have some of the lipsticks. Um, I think I kept the lipsticks, maybe I didn't. Maybe I did toss the, I might have, but I'm keeping the eye palette. Um, this was given to me, or I wanted, I can't remember. This is the Disney Villains from ColourPop. Um, the Menage a Moi. I'm not sure if I should keep this one, but there's this big tease that I need to try um the zodiac this is by kathleen lights i absolutely love this one um so right now it is staying um and then there's making moths this one is super small i am keeping it it's one of the cute eyeshadows that i have tried that i've really really liked so you guys know that i'm a big hocus focus fan so this hocus pocus set is coming out again i'm sorry i'm going to be bringing it out again um i apparently used it and there's i have not used all the colors this full moon i have not used um so yeah I actually have all the whole collection except for one eyeliner, so I need the green eyeliner. Okay. Then I actually have Cloud Spun. I love pink. Um, the Amethyst. This was actually given to me when my first um, Christmas um, gift exchange, so this has earned a spot. Definitely in my collection. So, um, I won this one, I believe. It's from Kelly. It's Amethyst again, so of course it's staying. Uh, this is the Controversy little palette that I got. This is Lisa Frank from, with Glamour Dolls. Now, I did get the um, brush. I Like I said, I am a Lisa Frank fan. This will just stay in my collection. This is Stargazing Shimmer Eyeshadow. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. So I've got some super shockers here. So so these, I think I'm actually going to put in the giveaway. Um, we are day tripping, not giveaway, in my sale box. Um, so I think this one's kind of dried out. I won't be able to sell it, but uh, I'll just keep it for now. This is the Villains Colourpop. Um, spindle 
it's purple. And then this is a whole new world. Look at that. So I think some of these were like from before I really even. Oh, you know what? The lids got mixed up. That's what happened here. So this is the Dil Villains um, I Own You. Um, I don't even know if I use this one. I think I got so disappointed in the other one that I just didn't. And I think they're a little dried out, so I'll just probably keep them just, you know. And this is the Disney Princess. So these are... So this is the Nomad shade Stockholm. Oh, that's why I kept it. I mean, you can't really fault me there. It's a gorgeous color. So these were some of the um, first Nomad palettes that I had. Um, yeah, I need to use that one again. I'm going to actually put that right there. And then this one is a highlighter. No, it's not. Look at this one. This is uh, Around the World Light Infusion Powder. So I'm going to put those both right there because we're going to try them out. I need to try those out. Okay, so. So then I just got this little visor. Remember, I just tried it out. So it's going in here and my wine and only. So this one here I am keeping for now, I think. I might change my mind on that one, maybe. Okay, so I do have um, like an acrylic holder here. So I'm gonna go quickly through some of these. These are obviously some of my more, um, the powder, um, definitely I'm always keeping in my collection as well. like these are, um, stuff I, I absolutely adore, but the, these are the things that, uh, yeah, they're not leaving my collection. I have, uh, I have, a, a hold on to them. You're also going to see that I do have the Jeffree Star stuff back there. My Jeffree Star stuff isn't going to be sold ever again. I have learned my lesson from that. I like his stuff. Um, and uh, I'm not really going to go through it today with you. I have a couple items in here, but um, that's just because I forgot to put it up there. So I'm not even going to really pull it out. I might just show you quickly. But um, the first one is the Nik Nikki Tutorials uh, and the Beauty Bay. This is one of my favorite palettes. Um, I love the fact that she has a beautiful red shade in here that's dedicated to her brother. Um, I also got the Pop Socket. It is on my phone right now. Um, and I actually got this side. I really wanted this side, but this side actually suits me. Um, this palette will f has earned its place, and it's actually in the front. Um, another palette I have here is the Rose Period from Suvia. It is a gorgeous pink palette. I love it because it's Canadian, and I got it from Tribe. It's one of the first um, Tribe palettes that I have gotten, and I absolutely love it. This one here... Um, they came with a brush, and obviously the brush isn't in it. This was one of the first um, full-size palettes I got from Ipsy from the add-ons, and it is the Laura S Sanchez Moods. Everybody hated on it, and I was like, uh-uh, I loved it. I loved it. Well, then they came out with it like a year later, and everybody changed their mind, and I was like, <clears throat> yeah, well, I knew that. It was, it's, it's one of my favorites. Um, so Jaded by Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. Uh, how can you not like this? This is bold. This is beautiful. I do like Kathleen Lights. I do not follow her. Um, 
I know it sounds weird. I have a couple of her palettes now in my collection. I find that her stuff is a little fun. It is, it you know, um, yeah. So I also won this one, and I seen Vanessa do some really nice looks. Uh, she has a YouTube here. Um, if Vanessa, if you comment below, maybe some of my subscribers can go and follow you. Um, she's done some really pretty, pretty looks. There's like, look at this blueberry cheesecake and tarot. I need to get this back out and I need to use it again. So you guys, let me know if you see any palette that you'd like me to do again and I will do it again. Um, or like do a look with it and yeah. So the other one is the XO. This one was hard to get for, for a while from Morphe. Uh, natural Flirt. Look at this. Does this not scream me? So those are the, some of the palettes that I'm absolutely dedicated to keeping. Um, I actually wanted to get rid of some of these palettes, but I'm like, I can't. I just can't. Oh. So let's... Actually, I'm going to put moods in here. I'm going to have to reorganize some of this. Okay, so. I have one open. Oh, I actually have this Sephora Wild Wishes multi-use palette. It's super cute. Um, it was like $12, so I'm like, oh, I'll keep it. Um, okay, no matter, you need to go back. Actually, I'm going to put that in there. Um, I do have two of the color pops here, and I'm only keeping them because I kind of want to do the rest of them. And, yeah. okay, guys. This is my highlighters. These are all the ones I've used. I can't even, like, lift it up here. Oh, I got this glitter flip. That was fun to play with. Okay, guys, there's some things in here that I definitely do not need anymore. So starting with Mirabella, I'm going to try to put this up for sale. Um, it is a beautiful highlighter, whatever you want to call it, but uh, I don't need it anymore. Uh, the Bare Minerals, um, I am actually going to put up this Bella Pierre. I don't, I don't reach for it. It is a beautiful, beautiful color, but I just don't reach for it. The Laura Geller. Gilded Honey, um, I do have two of these, but they're different colors, and they're It Cosmetics, they're staying, absolutely, they are staying. So I also have this Jaclyn Hill Amped, and it's a highlighter, and it's staying. Um, let's see here, this is... A cheek and lip color from Kaja. I'm going to actually keep that out because I would actually like to use it. So I do have like three uh, blushes from Doll 10. I was given these, so these are definitely staying in my collection, as well as this Skin Genius um, color. I think, ooh, that's a pretty tart. But I'm going to actually give that a toss because I've had it forever. And I think I'm going to give this one a toss as well. This is quirky. I've had it forever. Um, I have the book here that I actually reach for more than anything else. I absolutely love it. Uh, the ColourPop Barbie. I am absolutely keeping this. This is gorgeous. Um, it's part of my collection. Let's see what this one is. Hmm. Your trip. Super shock highlighter. I'm actually going to find a new home for this one just because I have that other one and I really don't need to. Um, the Pure Barbie ones I'm definitely keeping as they are super cute and part of my Barbie collection. Um, this Love Cheeks Duo, definitely keeping it as gorgeous and it works on me. Do you have couple Jeffree Star here. Um, they are staying. This cavity palette, I know if you guys don't like them, that's fine, but this cavity palette is beautiful and it works well everywhere. I absolutely love it and I actually do reach for it and will continue to reach for it. It is a beautiful, beautiful palette. Um, this Winky Lux, I just got this and I can't help it, but it needs to stay actually 
on my um, desk because it's so pretty. Now the beauty crop, I am going to probably give that a toss only because I just, I have so many, right? Like, oh, I actually have four doll, doll tones. So those are staying. Um, the Coca-Cola and Morphe is staying because I have the rest of it. Um, I'm not sure about this. This is uh, Blushing in Ballet, six color blush and highlighter. You've just seen me use it. It is beautiful palette, but I have a lot already. So I think I'm going to go ahead and give this uh, in my sale pile. So I have Lancome. It goes just in. Oh my gosh. The Odin's Eye is staying. And then I have these. I'm not sure about uh, the Bella Pierre will go in the garbage. I've had it so long. Same as the Elf. Uh, the Eco fa Fabulous. I think I've tried to sell this and I just couldn't. I'm going to maybe put it up for once more. It is beautiful. But, again. Um, 